afternoon friends um, I mentioned the day before yesterday that the Holy Spirit had showed me some things and that uh, I would be making a video well <clears throat> I got about 20 minutes before I have to get to work so I thought I would take this time and just kind of present the information to you and I plan on going back and making a nicer video, but it, it's, it's going to take time. <laughs> so, but I, I want to get you the information because it is time sensitive and you'll see why. Okay, so yesterday, uh, I, I was off yesterday and I did a lot of studying. The, the Holy Spirit impressed upon me to get my uh, boards that I had created for the TV shows and I have four of them so I was looking over all the information of all the things that's happened in the past dealing with Israel and so forth and I saw several things that I never saw before the first thing I want to tell you is about the blood moons okay of course Mark Biltz is the one that first discovered the blood moons that happened on Passover and Sukkot, Passover and Sukkot, and he stated that it happened at the beginning and at the end of the major feast, right, that they were like bookends, and every time that you had the blood moons on Passover and Sukkot, it was always something bad happened to the people of Israel. And that's true. Nothing ever happened good on Passover and Sukkot on those blood moons. Now, we know that there was a blood moon, I think in 32 or 33 uh, AD, when Jesus died on the cross. And also there was uh, a total solar eclipse. Because, you know, it, uh, it just grew dark over there in Israel. So anyway, uh, what what the Holy Spirit told me that got me looking at the blood moons was he says that the Lord is the beginning and the end he's the beginning and he's the end he's the first and he's the last so I was thinking about that I said okay so the blood moons occur on the first major feast and the last major feast the first and the last the beginning of the feast the end of the feast first last beginning and end I said okay blood moon at the first blood moon at the end Jesus is the first Jesus is the last he's the beginning he's the end so as I was thinking about that I said okay so Jesus came to earth and died on the cross on the first Passover or the first one which is Passover so what is Jesus going to do on the last one if he's the first and the last if he correlates with those two the beginning and the end what's he going to do at the end well the end which is tabernacles is where he tabernacles with people on earth for the thousand year reign that's when we believe he will set up his millennial reign and of course that may very well be how that's fulfilled but then I was thinking so let me think about this so why is there a blood moon on Passover and a blood moon on Sukkot because blood moons represent a bad omen for Israel which means something bad is going to happen on Passover and something bad is going to happen on Tabernacles dealing with the children of Israel. So also, let me throw this in. There are three feasts or appointed times of the Lord where they are commanded to come to Jerusalem. Everybody comes to Jerusalem on Passover on Pentecost which is the middle and on tabernacles so as I was pondering all this I talking to Jesus and uh, asking him some things what's going on here things begin to be impressed upon me 
So here's what was impressed upon me. Okay, so on Passover, all the people are commanded to come to Passover and get the Passover lamb. But they also are there. So what did they get to see while they were there? God wanted to show these people something. So God got to have all the people come.